big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Today we talk about introducing yourself to a one percenter. You had a gas pump, you're about to load up. A whole club comes through, a whole bunch of one percenters. Some people get nervous, rightfully so. How do you address them? What's the way that you do it without showing disrespect? What is the respectful way to approach a one percenter? We get into it on this episode of Demons Row TV. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Row TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today we're going to talk about how you introduce yourself to a one percent of there's no real one way to do this and you really if you're from the streets you know how to go off vibe but if you've never been in those sticky situations you might not know or you know you can go off vibe and not be from the street because everybody's not from the street but they understand when they're in a bad situation but experience will show you that more than anything also i have clips from t-rod from the vagos mc and fetch from the outlaws mc so you hear it straight from three different one percenters the proper way to approach a diamond club member but the first thing i want you to do like we always do on this channel is to hit me with that pound ghosting and that lets me know you're alive and well sitting on tools doing what you do or just part of the demons row community one of my ghosts big shout to all my new subscribers welcome to the row make sure you hit that bell so you get the notification hit the like button shout to everybody that has been rocking with me and got me to this 100k plaque i truly appreciate you and shout to everybody that has been getting the demons row bandanas the demons row t-shirts everything that we got going on it's a blessing but let's get into this subject how do you greet a one percenter when you see them at like a gas pump or whatever now i always say the most important thing is the vibe study the situation if they all pull up they have an alpha way they move so it's gonna be aggressive so you got to get it out your head automatically that they're just gonna come light-footed and it's easy to know it's not gonna be easy to read if these dudes are approachable or not they're gonna look very unapproachable but the truth is there's a lot of good dudes in these clubs yes there are suckers and you got to make sure that you are street smart enough that you're not rolling up on the sucker you know what i mean and you could just tell by body language how they they're moving when you walk up don't walk up super quick you know aggressive don't walk up with your hands in your pocket i've seen people get folded for that like if you walk with your hands in your pocket you're looking like you know some people are nervous when they do that and they walk with their hands in their pocket a true one percenter is going to lay you if your hands are in your pocket because they're going to think maybe you're, you're you know one of their opposition and you got something in your pocket that you're gonna about to pull out on them you know what i mean so that's not a smart move and when you come up don't start asking questions about patches don't ask any club business don't touch the bike don't touch any patches keep it super old school if you have shades on pull them off if you have gloves on pull them off let that man look that man in the eye show him that you have respect for him and you reach your hand out but i'm the type of person i don't reach my hand out unless it's a vibe that's accepting so when you walk up to whatever member it is make sure you check your demeanor make sure that you know that you're not coming with an aggressive feel and they'll they'll be able to tell the vibe if you're just there to say what's up but there's some people that are like drunk or they're just they don't know how to talk to people and they could appear like something they're not so if you know you're that type of person i would advise you 
do not go up to a one percenter if you're the type of person that goes into the bar and you get in the bar fights all the time the last thing i would advise you to do is to really have a conversation with a real one i would say as you approach start saying what your intentions are before you even get close enough for anything to happen so that they know you're coming to greet and show respect you know roll up much respect just wanted to say what's up that's a dope bike you know what i mean keep it like that don't act scary but you know show some love and if you want to throw the hand out and they give it to you that's fine will you have some people that won't shake your hand it's possible most most won't do that but you know it's possible but nine times out of ten if you come with respect they're gonna come back with respect towards you only a sucker will act like a sucker with you if you're showing respect so I asked T-Rod of the Vagos MC the same question. How can he be approached? This is how he answered. So if someone that is not in the club pulls up to the gas station and he wants to say what's up to you, a lot of people ask me this question like, how do I go, how would I go up to T-Rod and just say, you know, you got a nice bike. You know, they have this misconception that, you know, you're a one percenter, so you can't go up to them because it could be a problem or whatever. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about that? Well, me, I, I look at body language. I look at the, the demeanor and the person approaching me. You know, they've got a smile on their face and their hands out. They normally shake their hand, you know. And I'm, you know, I've had kids sit on my bike at gas stations. When I was racing uh, at night after after the races, they open the pits and you put all the kids in the bikes and you shake hands with everybody. And, Kiss, shake hands and kiss babies, you know. And the, the way the person would approach me is, I would feel their their body language and, and their, their demeanor. You know what I mean? If they're coming in to say hi, honestly, truly say hi, I would say hi. Don't shake their hand. If they're coming up because they have a problem with what I'm wearing or something, I would be like, hey, that's cool. Just stay right there. I can hear what you got to say. Uh, don't come in any closer because then I'm gonna take that as a sign of a threat, and then I'm gonna react differently. But a lot of it, you know, we have this thing in our, in our cuts is just, we give what we get. And I, I, I live by that. You know, if you treat me good, I'm gonna treat you better. Treat me wrong. So if you approach somebody like me with good intentions, we're never gonna have a problem, you know? So basically you understand it's all about your demeanor and you know, you're hearing it from the horse's mouth. And just to let you know a disclaimer, any MCs that I have on here, none of them are ex-members. These are active people. These aren't people that were in a club in the 90s and stuff like that. These are people that are actually in the club. So when you hear something from them, they're the people that you would see at the gas station because that's how we try to keep it on Demon's Row, authentic. I'm not gonna, you know, do the ex, this one member that's disgruntled and he's gonna tell you some fake story, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that I would never have any ex, you know, member on the show. I wanna have a Chuck Zito on and people that have that experience and knowledge. So don't think I'm saying that if you're not in the club anymore, I don't wanna hear what you gotta say. That's not what I'm projecting right now. But T-Rod, active member. Fetch, active member. Let's listen to what Fetch had to say about it. Somebody asked, what is the proper way to show respect if they were to run into you at like a gas pump and they're uh, like a regular biker, they're not in a club or anything, they're a little intimidated and they want to just say hi to you or show you respect. What is the proper way if they see you at a gas station to, to like show you respect? Well, I think it comes down to the, like a stigma that the media and the law enforcement uh, portray on us. Uh, like I said, they got civilian scare of us to even come up and say hello i mean that's ridiculous i mean we're just human beings too yeah uh, like i said uh, i got no issues I'm, I'm i'm gassing up my bike and the guy comes up speaking about harley's speaking about the weather i mean at the end of the day we're just regular people just like you know me and you so yeah. don't be don't feel intimidated to go up and say hello to a member like you know, like i said it's not that all bad uh, don't believe all the hype that's out there that surrounds our culture. So you get it. Basically, it's the same overlying theme. Just be cool. You know what I'm saying? If you watch this show, you should know pretty much how to move when you're around one percenters. If you feel uncomfortable, don't go up to them. If you don't feel like you can say the right thing, don't go up to them. You could give them a head nod. You know, keep it cool. Let me know in the comments if you've ever, you know, ran up to a one percenter and said, what's up? Was it? cool did you ever have issues let me know in the comments and get your demons row bandanas now at www.demonsroad.com and thank you for tuning in to demons row tv 
the holy grail of MC culture. Like, subscribe, and comment. And oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. <laughs>